it's the it's the Team Derek podcast. Well, that was actually called. I can't, I can't remember. remember. <laughs> I can't remember. We actually, I think it was just the Derek cast. Oh yeah, it was. It's the first time we've took it on the road. Yes. Yeah, uh, Sorry if you are scraping. I'm just centering the microphone. I'm just making sure it's exactly in the middle. There we go. Okay, okay thank you. We're, we're, cool. we're coming from you live from a packed audience. We have to whisper because people are. <laughs> oh, got too many fans. We have to. Uh, we're live currently from the Costa, just in a non-disclosed we're location. Kev's get up the strand. <laughs> we're live from Kev's cab in the back seat. He's constantly offering to digit Connor. Oh, that coffee is very hot, according to Connor. You're gonna hear some heavy metal in the background. It's it's the coffee oh, maker. It's not a gem, guys. Do. But you know what, Connor? I like that because it adds authenticity into an <laughs> otherwise unprofessional show. Right, so this is, this is the least unprofessional one yet. It's a fucking phone. <laughs> it's a phone. Oh, I just forgot it locks. Okay, oh, that's fine. at least I has a, a bit of a studio. <laughs> that's true. Oh, right. get your notifications yes. up there. Your Pornhub resub has just happened. <laughs> Pornhub Aries, like Aries Kitchen. Are you worried about that? No, no, not. Oh, top of that. Well, I want to start off easy. What's your favourite film you've seen this year? That's come out this year. Triple front of, no, I'm joking. Oh, he's got us, guys. <laughs> it's Joker. That's Joker's one of mine. What's your other one? I've got two ones that are tied. It's Joker and Dolomite. I, I thought you were going to say Joseph. <laughs> it's Joseph. It's it's only it's, twenty-two. It's our good pal Joe and uh, Dolomite with Eddie Murphy. But West, well, that's going to sound lovely on the mic. <laughs> it's like Pete's <laughs> mic. Fucking hurt as well. Connor's just hit his knee on the For the visually impaired, I've just hit my knee on. For the visually impaired in this podcast. (laughs) People who can't see the sound. (laughs) But yeah. What a good old bump. But, um. What else was I going to say? I just hope it records as it's. You can't really see this, but. (laughs) There's gaps. There's a big gap. (laughs) But the worst film I've seen that come out this year was Triple Triple Frontier. Frontier. I was going to say that, or that Dark Phoenix. Cause I actually fun. never saw. I was planning yeah, to see that. It's and not didn't really see it. worth it. I had a, it's uh, not as bad as Triple Frontier though, so you can go into it knowing that. Yeah. I probably shouldn't lean back because I'll just be in the distance. Yeah. Oh my That's God. why I'm kind of like being shown sure right? quite close at the minute. Yeah, we're, we're very practically kissing. We're talking into each other's mouths directly, <laughs> so we can get the sure, full. Sure, full you're breathing into my nose. <laughs> you're stealing my breath. <laughs> but um, was it? Oh, that's the other question you wanted to ask. I got it while I was in work. Oh. Would you like me to say it for yeah, you? Yeah, go on. I was in work, just doing a little bit of a clean, and um, got a message from Connor. How many pubes do you think you could eat before you had to take a drink? And then all I could think of was how dry it would be. Yeah, that's why I would... Didn't that happen eat. in Jackass? With Danger Aaron when he had the pube beard? Oh, probably. Probably swallowed a few. Yeah. And it wasn't all his pubes. I you could do about 64. I couldn't. I, I'd have to, I would be able to do one gulp, and then I wouldn't be able to go for more. I'd have, I'd say no to seconds. You could have 64 pubes in a... <laughs> in a sandwich. <laughs> in a body. Yeah, I think I'd have to reach for the drink. It'd be like a hot breath. ones where you're praised if you don't take the drink, but I don't think I could do it personally. <laughs> Sean, Sean Evans. Sure, like hot ones where you just eat pubes. Puby ones. <laughs> Hairy ones. <laughs> He's got names for the, the balls that they've come off of. Like, this is the Beyond Insanity. It's just a pair of black. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the stop horse and around. It's actually a horse pube. <laughs> the horse have pubes. I think, I don't know. They, they're covered in them. Eee! <laughs> puby, puby ponies. <laughs> Big pube dog. Well, Connor's got an Americano large coffee. I've got a caramel latte large coffee. Um, I'm enjoying it personally. Um, I wish I went for the Americano because I need that boost. The caramel latte is nice, but it doesn't give you that initial boost. Connor's getting that boost, and I'm not getting a boost. So I'm looking at him now with viciousness in my eyes because <laughs> I want the boost. Also, I see you have Siri Sword on your T-shirt, good sir. Yep. You had to check. You had to look down. <laughs> I have T-shirts they are done. I'm just <laughs> I've looked out with a bare chest. <laughs> I'm Siri Sword tattooed on <laughs> Brock Lesnar. 
Hey guys, I'm not Brock Lesnar. I love this song. I've it, said that about every song that's came on. You're just gonna wear like my finger slip because I don't know, I get uncomfortable when I realise that my phone's gone black and I'm like, oh, this better still be recorded. <laughs> I'm talking for 15 minutes and not that it's recorded. Is it? Yeah. Um, well, what else? Beans. Beans. There's no, a... we've probably talked about beans on the podcast. Well, I reckon. Uh, do you think how much of this is goes into our enjoyment of Joker? <laughs> I just looked up and Connor was just giving me the biggest smile. <laughs> Because oh, we, we saw Joker in, like, the most ideal conditions. Yeah. We were in, like, the front row, which in hindsight might not be in the best. Because <laughs> everyone's head was fucking huge. Everyone had fucking massive chin. Like, if someone was out and to the right, we had to turn to look. But, yeah. um... Apart from like, that, we had, like, recliner seats. Like, decliners. We had decliners, as Kev's called them. We had chocolate. We had our own chocolate that we snuck in. Yeah, that we didn't have to sneak in. We really didn't. They even had trays. You pretty much welcomed us with the, the bags open. Yeah. Oh, our bags open. Looking back, the only thing I'd do differently was I'd, I'd have like, um, I'd have, um, there's a Costa in there, so I would have got a coffee. Would have yeah. been nice for a hot drink. That would have been about nine quid in there. Though. That's true. Probably. For a large, anyway. Yeah. Nine pound fifty, please. How much were these ones? That's like two quid, sort of two ninety, I think. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad for the amount of coffee. You know what, you know what, to do honest you work, yeah. Do honest what? work. Respect the craft, get that bread. <laughs> it's a Joey, dip in your Joey, coffee. Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz, fucking. Look at that big pink. You can just make a monkey noise looking at the wavelength. Actually, we should stay silent and see how... That's a respectable amount. That's a respectable amount. For public consumption that's a respectable amount wow my wrist clicks so much you're playing through red dead currently yes are you enjoying it very much so after the patch i'm upgrading very soon and black friday's <laughs> next week and that's when I, oh my god i think i just saw like where this <laughs> table was shaking <laughs> oh my that's a lot god. sorry guys uh, my big penis going away but, uh, I can't really say much. I know you're spoil about spoiling it, but like it's like if me and Josh try and talk about it. Yeah. We want to talk about the story so far, but we're like giving each other like yeah. That was funny the other day where like Josh was like Josh was trying to clue Connor into like something that he he wanted to say. Oh, tell us when you get to this point. But Josh is like, he couldn't tell me to. The, yeah, he was like, "There's a point where I want you to tell me where you get up to." And Connor's like, "Where?" And he was like, "There's a man." <laughs> it's like it's fucking red dead. And he's like, "Well, Connor's gonna see a man and be like, oh, 'Oh, I've just seen that man you were talking about.'" He's like, "What man?" And oh, you can't say Josh in case it's not the man that you. It, it was basically the Cold War of spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I laughed really loud then. Guys. I think that was because I unlocked my phone. But uh, always oh, a little movement there. Oh god, a lot of movement there. <laughs> <laughs> a film, another film I've seen, like that, it come out 2017 or 2018, but I saw it this year, that I really recommend, it's called One Cut of the Dead. That is a fucking brilliant film. Are you whipping? I'm cutting. Oh, oh, he's cutting like oh. the, it's more cut like that, it's a movie, it wasn't one of those. it's a movie cut. I want to whip so close, you hear the wind off it. We got, I'm scared one was going to knock the car <laughs> But yeah. Oh, and here's what topic I was thinking about in work. If you, do you know why babies have a soft spot on their head? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Connor did an elbow strike as soon as I said that. <laughs> do you know why babies have like a soft spot on their head? What if you like you pushed it in? You made like a surface, like a bowl. What would you store in there? I'd, I'd have spicy peanuts. <laughs> I was going to say m and Wrapper. It's his chair. It's his bar stool. His <laughs> ba- bar stool. <laughs> M&M. Bar. But yeah, so like, I want spicy peanuts. So I can have them, I can have them sat on my knee and I'll just be... I'm Peanut not, little dust in I'm the bottom. Not, <laughs> it's, just, it's just gathering around this little scalp. Is that Tandruff? No, it's KP. <laughs> So I put my cup down a bit too hard. Yes, that's, yes, that's a very. That wasn't too bad. Look, that's not too bad. That. I had the, I had the image of me slamming my cup and then it all fly out the little spout. <laughs> oh, 
Well, what else should we talk about? Content? Oh, I don't know if I've said this in a previous podcast, but it was on like I had a notepad document on my old phone that was like stuff I want to talk about in podcast. I don't know if we ever got round to it. It was that Tina Turner's haircut looks the spit of a Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> like if you look at a picture of Tina Turner's hair from like Dog One, never gonna be the same. You're just gonna like there goes Tina Turner's hair piece. <laughs> you didn't have your Yorkshire Terrier when. The last, la- podcast, last podcast, no. yeah, and I had an extra. You wouldn't York- have even been born. Yeah, and I had an extra Yorkshire Terrier last time we did a podcast. He's, I, he's gone now. It's reincarnated into Marnie. That's what's I fucked am, is the fact that no, he looked exactly like the way your Yorkshire Terrier looks. So if your Yorkshire Terrier wasn't a pup when I saw him, I'd think you stole him. <laughs> Don't tell but no, him. No, sadly, that is not the case. He is dead. So there will be no yes, hope. I saw some that. There will be no. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about that a little bit because the day the day he died, he was a childhood dog, so I was overcome with grief. One would say, fucking miserable, and I get a notification on my phone, and Connor sent me a link to him. He did not know the dog had died, and he'd sent me a link to like a man <laughs> crying to a sad song. <laughs> and I was, I saw it. It was yeah. MC Rad crying M- to different songs. MC Rad crying to the Minecraft theme it was. <laughs> and I, I, I was like, I don't have it in me to watch that. If I watch that, I'll be over, I'll just die. It was like the worst time in <laughs> ever. it was Minecraft as well. The, the fact Connor's so, like, like a few, like, Connor's a few streets away with a big smile on his face, like, oh, Sean will like this. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sean's got fucking, his eyes are red raw from <laughs> holding in tears. <laughs> Yeah, that, was, that was bad, that. But uh, what else? Had we not done, like, last time we had done a podcast? Like, my auntie hadn't died, so... So we both had deaths. Basically, what we, we should not go this long without a podcast <laughs> yeah, again. People bad stuff die. happens. Yeah, I nearly had a fight with a man at the funeral as well. Oh, yeah, the, the fucking priest, the one yeah. Did he get to sleep? <laughs> you know, when you throw... So- what happened was, when you throw soil... I in- screamed atheist to rise up in the church. You know, hell, bro. <laughs> when you throw soil into, like, where the casket is... You're not meant to catch it in your mouth. The priest was saying everyone spit on it. And the- what happened was, a few people had already started spitting. And then Connor was like, you don't do that. And the priest said, fuck you, I'm a man of God. Ah, you okay? I'm gonna bang your elbow again for that. I mean, you've missed it. That's now. a big bang. That's another good show. <laughs> yeah. Bazinga! All oh, right, I'm glad you got a big bazinga in there. I'm gonna run this through Audacity and just deafen myself. <laughs> Twelve <laughs> minutes in, and we've talked about deafs and everything. Didn't we? Yeah, deaf and baby heads. But <laughs> probably causes that what you wanna do to a baby's head. It won't. No, I'm, I won't kill it. A baby's head's like spongy. It's like when you get like a fly away and it pops back out. Like if you blow into the baby's nose, you just there. <laughs> and it would come back out. I need to fart, dude. My dude needs to fart. And it's gone quiet as soon as he needs to, <laughs> as soon as he needs to fart. So that's good. Well, Chance is blown. Chance the rapper. That's my spell. Hey. Who had the worst album that's come out this year? I can't remember. Machine Gun Kelly has an album. Can you yeah. imagine that? Dude? There's a one. What's it? Is it's either Logic or Chance. I think it's Chance. Oh, oh Chance's was. Shit, is that the one with the album covers like him holding like a see-through CD with uh, fairy lights Come. on it? Um, yeah. Not not Come. Seamen on. No. Seamen. Seamen. Hi men. I'm doing shipping. Very loud. Apologies. Not loud. Look. That's fine. But, uh, Hello, this makes up for the fact that we won't be doing like a one minute stupid thing because we're in public. You know how we usually end with podcast we're doing a stupid thing for a minute? Yeah. Because well, we're in podcast we won't be doing it in public. <laughs> yeah, because we're in podcast we won't be doing it. <laughs> well, Bob. I like this. You can't see so I will describe it to you. For the visual impaired. Yes. For the blind. Outside the window we have... <coughs> it's. It's kind of sunrise, but it's gloomy because it's it's it looks more it looks more like nighttime, and uh, but there's still people around, and it's a very oh that's another thing that um, had happened since we last recorded the podcast. Witcher three, I hadn't like beat it. Oh yeah, I very much enjoyed my time. I was really Probably sad to see my it favorite end. game ever. I can see that. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's mine, but it's top five. What is yours? Metal Gear Solid three. 
which I think turned 15 yesterday. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 and I reckon then Witcher. Mm. Which is a game that's like, when you think about it, it's so, like, unreal. Like, Witcher 2 was alright. The size of it is. Witcher stupid. 1. Witcher 1 was probably good at the time. Yeah. Witcher 2 it's was. Hard to go back to, though. Witcher 2 is alright, but Witcher 3, like. We're talking like going from like a 65 out of 100 game to like a perfect 100. Yeah. If that came out now as well, it, you, it looks like it could just be released now and. Yeah. Like, my one with the texture pack as well. Like, I've only modded the texture pack and done that, like, the shader. And yeah. it still looks better than most games. Like, the textures are still better than Red Dead's on them. Oh. Red Dead's got better biting. Yeah. I don't know, I, I think. I don't think Red Dead looks as good as it doesn't. Like I you, thought it was gonna. Be I know it's something the other day. The oh, lighting's amazing. I and know, that's what yeah. makes they've, it look good. They put all their time into the lighting. The textures are shit on. Because I, we brought this up the other day. Like I, you brought it up, and I realized I'd noticed it too. Which like the Arthur's hair, like facial hair, and his like eyebrows, yeah. and his, just his face. It looks also pretty shit. Running in Direct X Twelve. It's so shit. It's yeah. Like proper laggy. Doesn't, it, doesn't it start it off on Vulcan? Yeah, but I run it on Vulcan now because it's just Oh, because it looks better. I thought Vulcan was just for AMD. I thought it was run, just AMD. Yeah, you can use Nvidia on it as well. So like, yeah. I got like an extra 20 FPS on Vulcan, so. Yeah, I think I read that when I, when I initially got all like the. Because I was looking for a fix to the audio issues and the main yeah. thing was like. Because most of the people were having FPS issues. That's what mine was. If it wasn't with DRM, it was with the FPS. But mine FPS was like it wasn't smooth. Like yeah. it was not smooth. It wasn't consistent. I was gonna say mine wasn't. It wasn't bad, but it it would go from like sixty to thirty. Like, yeah. Quite the, a con bit. the consistency was what bothered. But I think it's a game that's been horribly optimized. Yeah. Not for in terms of like the all the issues they have, but the fact that twenty eighties, twenty eighty Ti's can't run it, and that's even with a good CPU processor yeah. like, and all that. Because a lot of people forget that you don't. It's just because you've got a good graphics card doesn't mean you're gonna run shit. So I am gonna upgrade my CPU next. Yeah, I'm just upgrading every, every graphics card. I'm waiting, like I said, Black Friday's next week, so I'm gonna get it off eBuyer. That um, the i7 I bought though, it's probably like four years ago now. Yeah. I was like looking at benchmark comparisons, and it's still only like three to five FPS slower than like the Ryzen's we're looking at. Yeah. So like that's held up well. Yeah. But I'm not going Intel this time just because of Sheldon Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> I saw an advert for it recommended to me because I've been looking at Ryzen CPUs of like an Intel. I mean, it was like nine 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 yeah. yeah. And it was a uh, Big Bang Theory alumni Sheldon Cooper holding it up, and I've never felt like boycotting a company as much as I want. Usually it's like CSGO tournaments, like Intel and stuff, yeah. it's like, yeah, I can get with them, but fucking Bazinga Boy. You know? Bazinga Boy. Who, who, like, they fucking sit there and fake game on the big bank and just button mash it. Like, that was when I realised, I, wa I watched Halo was the one, it was Halo 3. Yeah, it was hit, and they're sitting there like this. They're hitting every button, like the left stick's getting twelve clockwise and anti-clockwise, but the one fucking that got me, they got the sounds right in some parts, like the pla uh, what was it, the plasma grenade sound was perfect. And then... They were like, oh, you've stuck me. So like with the plasma grenade. So it was obviously they were kind of playing it. And then one, the, but the gunshots are all like wrong. And I'm like, that why? It yeah, so me. Much gunshots. Is it that hard to like just, just put tell the game to, on? Yeah, just tell the actors to play the game. The best like thing I've seen in like a, you know like in terms of, like watching someone play a game on like a show or a film was the, the Sopranos. They're, they're playing like this. Still need to watch them. They're playing Mario Kart and like. They're actually using the controller because they're actually playing. Because you see Tony Soprano and he's just like in a corner, like just driving against the wall constantly. <laughs> well, no. Shit, I, th I think The Sopranos is probably the greatest show ever made, without a doubt. Like I even have... with the Big Bang Theory existing. <sighs> I don't know. It's tough to call because the character development for like <laughs> Sheldon is like pretty like it's up there, but I don't know. Shell like fucking. The Sopranos, like, I think I've watched that all the way through three times, and I could watch yeah. it again, like, immediately after finishing it. On a serious note, I don't get how people watch Big Bang Theory. No, it's, it's, like, you wrote a show that, the worst part about it is, like, we know people that are, like, have our, like, my sense of humor. my sense of humor, but he fucking loves the Big Bang Theory yeah. for some reason. And, like, my mum, like, has my it's sense it. of humor, and she likes it. In fact, I think my stepdad likes it. And my stepdad's, like, like, Pretty big nerd, so like you'd think he'd hate the more 
in that scene you are that it's trying to appeal to, the more you're going to dislike it. Yeah. Because, I don't know. And Did you see the guy who plays the main guy in it? Not Sheldon, but the one with the glasses. Yeah. He's like buying sports teams now. I, I saw it online. He's got like a weird name. He's like Jonathan Gnickinicky. Galecki is it or something? Yeah, Jonathan, Johnny, Jonathan Galecki. I think it is. Galecki, Lecky, Galecki, Galecki. Galecki is good at Gatecki. I think anyone that likes like Big Bang Theory. Theory should watch IT Crowd. Should watch their parents being kids. <laughs> <laughs> While it's on in the, with a laugh track. <laughs> you should bazinga for each stab wound. <laughs> no, they should watch the IT Crowd because like, I feel like that type of humour done right. Yeah. Like A lot of IT Crowd is that like pays homage to it about like... I just think gamers are taking the piss out far too often then. We are like reality. We're the most powerful race. But you think about like black people. They've got what? They've Be got like, they've got bad boys. They've got big mamas house too. They've got all the films that matter. And what songs. of gamers have? We have a film called Gamers with Mark Wahlberg in. <laughs> and we have the one we watched on Amazon. Gamers vs Zombies. That was so. Oh no, it's called Dead Gamers. Oh my god! It's so it's shit. So it's, not even, it's not even on Letterboxd. <laughs> But no, I'm not asking. If I ever seen a, that film Vamp Bikers on a DVD, I'd buy it. Vamp Bikers was. Just for the memes we got from it. Oh, that was a beautiful watch. That was like the perfect, like, shit movie. Like, that encapsulated it. My battery died. I still remember, like, when we got Tony. were McDonald's. When we got Tony into uh, Discord once, and we were like. What's the film we watch where the house goes into fucking space? Like, we're gonna watch a shit. This is shit movie night, is we just pick a movie on Amazon Prime usually. It's usually a horror film. I, That's, the one when Tony came on, I picked. Yeah, it was she so bad. She never let me fucking forget. Them. Yeah, it's so bad. It was. Like, usually they're so bad, they're good. This one called Bad Brains is by Peter Jackson, like, of Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. And it was the worst film. Oh, it was black. It kept dragging. It was awful. I didn't know what it was going like on. It felt like it was longer than Lord of the Rings, all three of them. It wasn't funny. <laughs> but, like, um, so Connor, we didn't really let live down. Yeah, I got I got. It was like, it lot. was the worst thing to inch. We had to watch Space Jam after it to, like, up, like, put us all back up again. So she didn't kill anyone. And I'm sure she fell asleep as we were watching Space Jam. I've just touched your knee. <laughs> I just like put my hand under me like table and I just felt Connor's kneecap. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, it's just sort of a space jam. Toe jam. <laughs> Please don't ever talk to me again. Beans. Oh. But yeah. I don't know, speaking of like stuff that's come out of nowhere as well. Not that we were talking about stuff that come out of nowhere, that was like the worst transition ever. But there's a game that come out and I didn't even know it. It had not been advertised called Terminator Resistance. Oh yes. It's pretty goddamn good. Like it's budget. Like it's I don't know, it feels triple A and everything except the graphics and the voice yeah. acting. But like in fact no the graphics are fine, it's the character models. Yeah. But if the voice acting was bad, I think I'd just laugh through. I got like the t the the T eight hundreds. You can't Connor. kill John Connor. <laughs> It's yeah. like the armor voices. Oh Jesus! Enemy T one thousand. You can tell like the voice like overlaps. Like enemy two feet, <laughs> two feet, <laughs> two feet away. Like, he's, he's really close. <laughs> no, he's just saying he's got two feet. Oh, it's oh. Enemy handicapped. Well, it's not a tank then, is it? No. But uh, in like you can't kill T eight hundreds right away because obviously like in the film they don't just go out with a shotgun blast. But I didn't know that. And there's a you mostly for the first part you have to deal with is like stealth around the T eight hundreds. I like I. But like I went right up behind one. I was like, I'm gonna kill this guy. I had a shotgun. I was like, I mean, character model was like touching his right on the head of his shotgun. I shot him, and it just says weapon ineffective, and he just falls on his ass, <laughs> and it gets right back up. And I'm like, oh no! And then his mate killed me in like two shots. I think this was on like normal difficulty. How much is it? I don't remember. It's like DB. I want to say thirty quid. Oh, it's a it's a substantial amount, like, but I don't know. I enjoy it. I'm just waiting to play the new Star Wars. That looks good. Yeah. I've read it's like most like Dark Souls, but like more. It's less intense, but I don't know, it still looks good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Red Dead is a lot longer than I thought it would be. Yeah, I, I knew it was going to. I remember reading. That's all I read about when it came out. I think out. I've played 40 hours. 
near 60. Jesus. And it's 70% I was on. Fuck. So, yeah. I don't know, like, that's like mostly main story as well. Like, not yeah. even side stuff. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm definitely going to take my time with it when it comes out. Like, yeah. But, I don't know. Right. It was just a bit of a shame that like GTA 5 when that launched it would come out so well and then every update just messed GTA up more yeah. and then like every what was it and then Red Dead like just some people couldn't even get on the launcher <laughs> like the, the launcher was bad it's, it's mad that I was the lucky one on mine wouldn't even launch it first I had to turn the internet security off um, mess That's, around with like the graphic settings to get it playable yeah that's the main people like people say like the main fix of that is turn the new firewall off and stuff yeah. but mine was just AVG and Josh had the same yeah no like I was alright with that I was alright like, the fact as well that mine took longer to unpack the files than it did download and it took mine, like 6 yeah. gigs it's like it came out at 1 I think was it One. and I wasn't playing it until about quarter past 2 yeah do you, like so, I don't know, like, I, DRM was fine, managed to get the game, or played the first part, fine. Josh had issues with the DRM buying it, though. Oh, it yeah, yeah. And buy the, the special one, he had to get the fucking full 70 quid one. <laughs> and then online's crap, and I don't even want to play it. No, like, um... That's not crap, it's just annoying, you don't have a, like, free private run. one. That's gotta come soon, though, because even GTA V still has that. Yeah. But, like, I don't know, I remember launching DRM, I'd read about the DRM before I, like, hit play on the game. CRM worked fine, game launched fine. I was like, oh, I'm in the clear. First part of the game played fine. And then audio was just Baby like... Baby Elephant War was just playing through yeah. the first cutscene. And then, like, Arthur just kept cutting himself off or just talking over himself. And I was like, I can't play with this, because, like... I no, mean, that's the game he's got split personality. It was. It <laughs> felt like everyone just couldn't wait to ju- like for the other person to finish talking. Like they were all on sugar rushes. There was this thing I found as well. Apparently, audio from a major spoiler played over some people was like, I think that was on console, though. like when it released on console. That's bad, though. That's the yeah. worst glitch you can have in a game like that. <laughs> Ten minutes in, instant end game spoiler. <laughs> like, I've, I've done, I can't, it's like, I can't believe John Marston was an alien this whole time. Oh, you're joking. You're joking. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? You can milk cows on Red Dead 2, don't I? Just see how fast I can do it. So he's like, da 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 Poor cows get its teeth stripped. That's so fucking funny. This is it. It's like, oh no, that job well done. I hate Abigail. Abigail? Yeah. That's uh, John Marston's wife, isn't it? I want to punch her head in. I think John does at times. <laughs> from, from the way he talked about it in like Red Dead 1, like what he used to be like. No, uh, I wonder if there's any because I don't know how it ends. I don't know most of the stuff about the story, but uh, I remember Red Dead's on a cliff and puts his back out. <laughs> and and you have to leave him there. You have to leave him. I thought he was eating swags on the edge of a cliff and someone boots him out. <laughs> He's like, I can't mount me on. Some Dutch is like, we've got to get out. To be honest, when you think about it, in, back in them days, <laughs> putting your back out would probably be lethal. <laughs> it's burning on. It's burning on. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we've talked about that on the podcast. We went through a phase like we watched all of a certain season of Hell's Kitchen. It was just on Netflix for like two weeks, so yeah. like we've got a speed room. And it was a guy, it was like the, some of them are amazing. Really machismo, like Italian American. Italian American, yeah. And um, he put his back out, taking a shit. <laughs> no, he slipped a he disc. Slipped a disc yeah. yeah, and he's on the floor screaming. <laughs> And like Ramsey has to come in, he's like, you, you can't cook he like this. Shakes his hand and goes, I'm sorry, it ended like this. It was like, it's burning out. It looked like he was bleeding out in like bro- like Band of Brothers or something like that. Like, or like Vin Diesel when he gets shot yeah. in uh, Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, it, it was Keep exactly like that. Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't know how Triple Frontier gets such good reviews. Like everyone in it was unlikable. The end and made it so there's no point to the story. Well, it's probably by the same people who love UFC. That's true. Yeah, yeah, because you knew one character was gonna be oh, hateable. Pantera and a UFC fighter on headshots. Lad, I'm gonna come out to walk by Pantera like no one ever has before. But yeah, you've started listening to the Joe Rogan podcast as well, haven't you? 
I knew you knew of them before. Started, but like, yeah, yeah like it always the... ends up going back to. I don't know. What's been you say? New Year. <laughs> I love how violently Joe laughs. Yeah, because like he, he throws his head back. The timing and that was perfect. Like his mouth doesn't move. He's yeah. got a smile on his face after. And then after he's like, it's all like proper like gr like proper open mouth smile. <laughs> Who's been your favorite like one to listen to then out of all the episodes you've seen? Like funny or like interesting? I don't know because you've got there's I'd say both. I watched the Brian Cox one. You know who he is? Like I've known his name. The Astro oh yeah. He, he was interesting. I've seen from interesting, like mine's been one of the two Louis Theroux ones. They've been. I really haven't good. seen any of them. So the Steve-O one was good. The Steve-O one was both. You learn so much about drugs you've never heard. Yeah, the the Steve-O one was both funny and interesting. Yeah, like that was like the perfect one. Uh, the Norton one. I oh like, yeah, yeah, I listened to that because Joe, like, like Joe, was actually really respectful. Like he, he showed his age a bit because he, he was talking about he was having to explain what game engines were. Yeah. Like Counter Strike Source and like how that wasn't the same as like one point six. But I was actually looking at like the mo because CS:GO's got a new operation now. Oh, I see, mate. Yeah. But they finally fixed the fucking organ Krieg as well. Yeah, they fixed them, but. I don't know, I feel like Counter Strike's lost its identity. Because a thing that come out with this operation is character skins. Yeah. It's always weird seeing them. And I don't mean I don't mean like the way you add in Counter Strike Source where like you could just change you could pick like SAS if you're on Counter Terrorist. Yeah. That. It's like characters, like operators like Siege does. You don't have abilities, but it's like they all have backstories. But I don't think that's for comp though, is it? It was like a little co op thing no. we released, wasn't it? So at least it's not like I hope that yeah. You're not gonna see it in like a pro talk. Yeah, because a lot of it is like starting to get like trouble, like identifying like the no. Yeah. But but going back to source, I was like, oh. yeah, like I I'd, I'd shoot anyone on source now. When you look when you look back on source, it was weird the way they let you add like the terrorists. They let you have like the Arctic camo in Dust too. Yeah, like they were all conflicting. I don't know. Like I, some of the CTs were blue and some of the terrorists were blue. So yeah, like, shoot the blue cut. But. I think the thing that confused me, and I can't remember if it was Counter Strike Source or like another like military game, but like I think it might be Bad Company 2, where if you were on Terrorist, oh no, I think it was uh, Source, if you were on Terrorist, your name tags were always red, and oh, Counter Terrorist would always be blue. Red Orchestra does that as well. Yeah, and then so like you'd see red. The and, Germans are green, so sometimes yeah. you'll be Russian, you'd think green friend. And then yeah. you just you shoot your mate Ivan in the head. Was it you who threw the still on grenade over that wall and killed about eight people? Yeah, threw, that team. I threw me a little grenade right over a little broken wall <laughs> and then I just heard Russian voices and I'm like, oh no. You've you seen some of them run out and you're like, oh Russian. That's <laughs> when it like Sean gets a fucking eight kill feed on the top right. I actually love the way in Red Orchestra too, you could upgrade your weapon kill counts by shooting teammates. <laughs> I remember shooting Sander once and I got unlocked a bayonet for me posing. <laughs> Might install that again. I was thinking, I remember like the other day I watched them um, because it's gotten to a point now where I can't. We've been doing like, well, we've done videos so long ago that a lot of them I forgot about. Like, yeah. we did a lot of Red Orchestra 2 ones and like I watched one of them. Some of them were fucking. Who was it who's bleeding out in that room? I you like everyone, all of us started shooting each other over. No, I was, I was looking out at like a little pillbox and you run in and try and stab me because I see the bayonet go past <laughs> my eye. So I hip fire you and you're just bleeding on the spot. Slowly. It went from funny to sad and then I had to stab you in the head because I was like, I've just gotta put him out. <laughs> I keep needing to go back into Rise and Storm 2. Yeah. Cause I, I mean it's a game that has a lot of frustration in it. Like it still doesn't have bots, I don't think. Which it needs. Yeah. But I don't know, like I wanna give that another chance because I was so hyped for that. Like the way I am now for Halo Reach. Was Did you like, see that video I sent? Yeah, the hidden, ex hidden Xperia post about the 60 like, FPS looks fucking annoying though. A lot of it is, isn't it? I've just bought like 140 yeah. monitor and it's like one of the games I was excited it's, for. It's one of the things with. that I can, it will get fixed because the way, the, there's a guy called Sketch who works for a 343 who's very transparent on Twitter. Yeah. And he, he, he brings up a lot of stuff, but like, I don't know. The one that bothers me is um, input delay. Yeah, that's a bad one. Yeah, I, apparently they fixed that because apparently the last, the one that all these YouTubers have been doing their Reach videos on has been an old build. Yeah. By like, like three builds ago or something like that. So they might have fixed a lot of that by now. 
judging by like the way the modders have been like I don't know, like the fact that modders could actually add bots and like private matches and stuff. Yeah. Like that would add a lot of life to that game. Not that it's gonna need it, but I wanna see what they do with their thingy, because there's an aim assist that they've got on controllers. Oh, I've seen that, yeah. And and because it's you know obviously play with people and keyboard mouse, like they're saying they can't really get rid of that because it closes the door for crossplay. Yeah. So they're looking at making it an opt-in thing, but I'm wondering how would you even do that? Yeah, it's like I'd have to detect one of pods putting or something. The I don't know, like it's you could probably have like an automatic search thing, like if you've got a pad in, it will only search for yeah people with pads and the same with do keyboard. What, it might do what GTA Five does a free roam because you can be like do you want to go yeah. in with assist or do you want to go in park but you can only match with those yeah. people and that's all auto yeah. isn't it really I know because I know when Sando's controller broke I, I used to play with a pad on GTA 5 yeah and Sando's controller broke so he would only use keyboard and mouse and which meant we would only join servers with a free roam like without free aim or with free aim and it would be so annoying broke, yeah. so I used to do drive-bys it was just the most annoying experience you can have I don't know but I really do dead on uh, keyboard and mouse. I haven't even tried it, but I don't think I, I I've heard a lot of people complaining about the controls, but not like That's I've heard your one. Shit on the pad as well. I've heard like, it's the looting. Like if there's stuff right next to each other, and say like you're full on ammo and like I don't know head pommers. Yeah, something. you told like it's... And I had to examine a letter in the middle of them, and it yeah. took me five minutes of doing tiny steps <laughs> between them to finally get the prompt to hold away to pick it up. Yeah. And usually there's a thing that's like the right and left bumper to cycle through them. Yeah. But it wasn't coming up that time because I don't know maybe it was like a story thing. But... So I was sitting there for five minutes, like nearly I'd put on my monitor trying to pick up a fucking letter. The one I've seen the most seems to be the horse. Apparently, the people are having a lot of issues with the horse. The horse is. The like, one I used, it wasn't too bad, but at the same time, I wasn't like chasing. If, if you used the Witcher free, you'd be alright. Yeah, yeah, because Roach, like, um, parts of Roach. But it's got the same, it's got a similar auto path thing, do you know, where sometimes the horse picks where it wants to go. I was gonna say. And it'll head both the tree. I never found <laughs> Roach's version that useful. Yeah, like it'd be like I hold to it. stay on the path and then a turn would come up and Roach would be veering off straight. Through a fence. <laughs> I'd like Roach turn please. Yeah, it doesn't have the auto pattern but it's like yeah. it'll assist you if he thinks you're gonna crash. But sometimes it'll cause a crash. So I remember I was chasing after someone, there was a wagon and a tree. Yeah. And the horse was like, right, there's a tree there, so it fucking head first into the wagon and I fly over the top of it. Oh, another thing that's coming out as well, Witcher series on Netflix. You can tell by that loud noise that was kind of slamming it. Every time I see something that makes me hopeful about it, I see another thing that makes me not want it to come out. Yeah. Like, I saw that there was a lot of bad shit that visually it's still kind of there, but then it said, like, they're going to focus a lot more on horror than they are fantasy. Which and I, sounds fucking good for Which is what I want. But then, after that, then, the, the, it's been renewed for a season two, but season one's not even out yet. The, the, the contact lenses for all the characters as well look so... Uh, like over the top. I, I think they fixed Geralt's look a little bit. Apparently but, in the box he doesn't have like sni like the cat eyes. Yeah. Or he does have orange eyes. So at least that's like yeah. off the book. But I th you can tell the context they don't look like normal eyes. Yeah. Especially like Siri. Siri's eyes look like they're about to pop out of red. Yeah. <laughs> that's like Hulk green. Like not like a more natural green. Yeah, I don't know, because I've I know I've seen a lot of people that I know personally like from college and stuff that don't play the they haven't played the Witcher games, but they want to watch the yeah. Witcher when it comes out because they've just come off Game of Thrones. Yeah. So they want another fantasy kind of thing, but I don't know. I it better be good because that's gonna be so, a lot. Everyone of who's played the game, though, like me, you, Joe, and Antonia. Yeah. Have all said we think it looks shit. Is Antonia playing it? Yeah. I, she was moaning about the series when it got announced. So Antonio's not played The Witcher, but Josh hasn't. Yeah. Josh needs to get on that right away. Josh, if you, you're probably not going to listen, but I fucking told you when it's on sale, you're going to buy it. Yeah, listen, Josh. I love you. <laughs> Connor's just near spaz. Oh, that's going to that's going to sound lovely when. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I haven't drank a lot of this. I'm done, Z's. I've still got over half of mine left, I think. But I can just drink down the way. We're going to Burger King potentially after this. 
see, get something to eat. Don't know if Connor wants something to eat. I think I might leave food this time. I well, might leave. <laughs> I think I better leave right now. Before you call another creeper. <laughs> oh, creeper. Oh, another thing as well. We'd started our Minecraft world. Oh, yeah. We built a care clock. Oh, yeah. It's massive. It's We've done pretty well on it, to be fair. It is humongous. Like, imagine after so many, like, what months and, like, coming up to a year of no proper roasty buns videos, and then the first one back is just, my Minecraft world. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a Minecraft pocket edition. You should do that. <laughs> yeah. I've took a lot of screenshots because I, I want that to, if That's that well goes. That's what I've been doing on Yeah. Well, I can't show you because there's some spoilers. Yeah. I don't know. I think every. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, I think every game now, especially like visually, it needs a photo mode. Yeah. Red Dead is quite good as well, actually. Halo's one's very basic, but like you can do a lot of it in the Nvidia Ansel things. Amazing. Yeah. Like, it's whether the game supports. It. Reach does. Yeah. does uh, someone did a video where the the first flight of Reach they used Ansel to kind of like try and get the colours look like Halo Three. Connor's doing a proud toddler stance. Well, no, I re I can't wait for that to come out. December third, that comes <sighs> out, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'll be on that day one. I've just, I pre-ordered it, and then it was thirty pound for every. We said like that's gonna be sixty to ninety quid when it comes out. I thought minimum sixty. Yeah, because it's. I was expecting like sixty. Halo, to Halo one, Halo two, Halo three, Halo ODST. Halo 4 and Halo Reach. That's yeah. six games. In fact, and two, Halo 2 and Halo 1 are the anniversary editions, which have the graphics swap. So yeah. they're almost like two separate campaigns because there's changes there. But like, 30 quid. And I was like, I'll buy or pay for that. And I think it's just 10 quid for Reach. I bought it on the spot because like, I was like, this seven is... 7 quid, isn't it? Just for Reach. Yeah, 7 even, yeah. <laughs> I bought it on the spot because like, this has got to be a glitch. And then I bought it and I was like... I'm living in a world where I we live in a society. I'm living in a society where there's a Steam store page for Halo 3. Like if you told me that way back, Connor's just spun just, that round. Just to confuse people. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe in the head. Oh, yeah. it'll, in the head. In the head it'll do. <laughs> but yeah, like oh no. I I could not get my head around knowing like Halo 3 would have its own Steam store page someday. I just hope it's done right. Otherwise, if, I will. If it doesn't come out, punch. Great, probably. like it'll at least come out or uh, playable. Like it's at least for single player stuff or like co-op campaign, it'll be fine. But that's what I kind of want to do first. Just smash the thing I know with the way they're treating it now is if it doesn't come out great, like amazing, perfectly done, it'll get fixed. I I, have, I feel confident yeah. saying it'll get fixed. And Halo Reach, like that'll take. That's come out December third. Halo 1 will be next. That'll come out relatively fast. Because Halo 1 already had a PC port. Yeah. And so did Halo 2. They weren't that great, but they can work off some. Whereas with Halo Reach, they've had to build everything. I imagine they're doing them all at the same time. Like, uh, They've started on one, and then they're going to go up. Yeah. Like, uh, they've done Reach, and uh, they'll finish up Reach, and now they've started working on one. But I don't know. I think I, the gap between Halo 2 and 3 will be long. Halo 2... Anniversary might take a while though, because Halo 2 anniversary is Halo 2 and then the remake, which was all Halo 4's graphics. Yeah. Which is and the fact you can swap between the graphics on the fly in Halo 1 and 2, like by clicking in a stick, and you can do it online as well. Like it's kind of mind blowing to see. Skrr. But yeah. Um, little body. Little body. Somebody's getting a body smack. Little body smack. But yeah, we, d we definitely need to go back into our Minecraft world and like add more shit to it. I think what was funny was like we were. There was a, we had a Minecraft world before this and Connor wanted to upgrade. Oh, I did a big oopsie. He wanted to upgrade like stuff on the server and then all of a sudden. Server gone. The <laughs> server's dead. And then me and Connor were left with a problem. Do we mature and grow up and learn from the situation or do we both. Decide we're gonna get a Minecraft. Just Connor have to pay eight pounds a month to win. Is it eight pound a month? Yes. How much was the old one? Was that like a quid? <laughs> Can't remember. Well, anyway, yeah, so it looks. I mean, I'm quite proud of how it looks. Like, yeah. A lot of work went into that. 
like we've got our own like the best thing is is it fits 50 people and two people use it <laughs> two, maybe some like maybe a third person uses it now and then yeah like, he just lives underground like a hermit. Yeah, we still haven't found where he was. Oh, where are you? I mean, he messaged me on Twitter today. I was in work, though, so... Because he will probably listen to this, so... And I thought you, you told me you hated Pugger. I love Pugger. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just I hate and Pugger sh- as a concept, but I like him. I hate it when he says dirty things to me. I mean, it's hard not to, like, hate Pugger, because... I once messaged him after coming out of work at six in the morning to tell him that he leads a life of sin and he's going to burn in hell for his choices. That was very nasty. And his response was, that was very mean. (laughs) And I was like, oh, I feel bad. (laughs) But yeah. I think we should call it there anyway. But if this doesn't work out, it's been a good conversation. If it does work out, it's been a good podcast. Let's touch fingers. We have touched fingers. That signifies the end of the episode. He keeps on pausing the thing. Okay, but bye, bye, everyone. In a bit. In a bit. Ooh.